Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone. Today we're going to be continuing to check out the Kobolds and Catacombs expansion, this time with our second match featuring our new and improved Big Priest deck. That's right, this deck is back and it is finally Tier 1. I am having a total blast uh, going through the ladder with it right now. Uh, it's very effective against pretty much all comers I've found, except for Secret Mage, gives it a bit of a run for its money. But uh, it has enough control in the early game to deal with most of the aggro decks out there, and enough end game power and tempo to deal with even, uh, depending on the match, Jade Druid, which has been very fun. With that said, let's go ahead and jump in and see if we can get our second win. Oh my god, it's a shaman. Um, so I've seen the statistics for this online, and apparently token shaman is actually quite good. It's got like a 59% win rate or so, depending on the deck. But uh, this is the first time I've seen a shaman on the standard ladder in ages, so this should be interesting. I'm a little bit worried because devolve is incredibly powerful against my deck, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. For now, we didn't get a fantastic opening hand, but we did get to go second, and we have a Shadow Essence, so at very least on turn 5 we'll be able to drop something. In the meantime, we're going to need to focus on, hopefully, oh my goodness, hopefully drawing some control cards, because I have a feeling that this guy is going to be filling his board up very quickly, and we want to mitigate any evolved plays. Ugh. Our big card we're going to be betting on in this deck. Oh, Dragonfire is really good, but uh, the big one we're going to be betting on will be uh, what you call her. The old Shadow Word Horror, because almost all of the minions that he's going to be running are going to be less than two attack, or excuse me, less than three attack. Like, it wouldn't be terrible now, but it wouldn't be really good now either. And we don't have one, so we obviously can't do it. Um, Alright. Just gonna keep on keeping on here. This is so bad. We are just asking him to run rough shot on us. I may end up dragon firing turn five, depending. Although I almost would rather he evolved first, because dragon fire is gonna clear most everything that would be, uh, be evolved from this stuff. Let's see. Hmm. Do I dragon fire? He can recover pretty easily. My alternative is. Shadow Essence. I'm gonna go for the Shadow Essence. Nice, we got a Taunt. Don't love getting Lich King, because it means I'm up to 10 cards now. But, um, it does mean that he's in a bit of a pickle if he can't evolve this turn. Hmm. Interesting. That is pretty darn bad for me. But he doesn't have the Evolve, which means that I can, uh, Dragonfire Potion now. Anything better to use in this situation? Nah. Nah. Dragonfire's fine. Alright, so we're still in a great position. We're at 25. We've got 9 cards in our hand. 10 next turn. And his board's gone. So that's good for us. We need to be a little bit concerned, though, because he is building, he is building jades. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Death this guy, and then bring back my Lich King, which brings us... Oh, no! I am an idiot. I even noted it when he did it. God damn it. This is the second time today I've done that. Did it once when I was doing my test matches. So don't be like me. I'm a f fucking fool. Um, I resurrected a goddamn 0-1 taunt because he had transformed my Lich King. So stupid. We'll be okay here. Shadow Word Death, don't really need it right now. Paint this thing, get it out of here. Um, we're still okay. Hopefully we can get a spell from his deck. Serenite Chain Gang actually ain't the worst thing ever. Um, it's not great because it's going to pollute my resurrection spells here, but it is good because it's going to keep him from being able to wail on me for a bit. Plus we can remove his 2-2 taunt with it. Hmm. Oh wow, look at you doing stuff. Wow, he's really going all in for that Jade. Um, we have another Dragonfire, which will clear his whole board. It's probably worth doing. The alternative would be not a whole lot. 
so we're kind of going to have to do that. Heal ourselves again. Hoping he's going to run out of steam at some point here. We do have a fully upgraded diamond spell stone, but it's not going to give us much until we actually start playing some of the bigger minions. Uh, next turn, though, we should be able to do Obsidian Statue, which will be good. Hmm. Hey, there's another one. And drop it in end turn. Probably has one more hex in the deck, um, which is a bit annoying. But uh, as long as... Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's not so bad. Oh, you dummy. What are you doing? Did he just do that? Or does he have the evolve in hand? He must. He's got to have an evolve. Oh, he's an idiot. Okay. Um... So this minion gets to keep attacking anytime it kills something and doesn't die. So, yeah. I'm going to clear his whole board with it. Alright, um, we're in a great position again. We cleared all those things out. There's the other hex, that sucks. Just can't get a break. Let me play a damn minion. Um, Eternal Servitude, though, is worth it now because I can get that 8-8 again. Uh, in this case, though, I think I'm just going to go for a Lich King play and heal myself. We need to get our health up a little bit, and I want to keep the tempo going. I could have used my... Uh, my Oh, I thought I had a greater healing potion in hand. I guess that was the last game. I could have used my death coil. <laughs> well, actually I couldn't have, but I can next turn. All right, all right, all right. That was pretty good. But now I finally have a dead Lich King. Let's see, we got options here. We're gonna go for the Servitude. Bring back my Lich King. Actually, is Lich King as good as, yeah, we need the taunt. Bring back my Lich King. And then I'm just going to go ahead and Shadow Word Death his 5-4. And heal myself. Holding on to the um, Death Coil for a bit longer yet, if I can. And I'm almost... I uh, got this upgraded to level 2. This one's already in level 4, or level 3, which is nice. But we still need more disparate minions. He killed off... I'm so annoyed he killed both of my... Uh, Duders before I could go too crazy with them, but I think we're going to be okay now because I just got Yashar, so that's going to be pretty much game, um, unless he has another Devolve play come out. If he has another Devolve play, I'm going to just cry, because that's every single minion in my deck except for Barnes. He'll have basically picked off. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that was crazy. I gotta say, um, he pro I think he probably could have taken that if he had played a little bit more conservatively. He went a bit too gung-ho there, especially with the fact that I hadn't really done anything for the first four turns. I think he, he let me take advantage of him overplaying his hand there a bit. Um, my recommendation in, for that deck in future, if you're trying it out, is just take it a bit slower, play it a bit more tempo-based, and try not to run yourself out of your best cards, because we he definitely put too much on the board and allowed us to clear it with too few of cards. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.